Hey everyone, <laughs> sorry I'm late. <laughs> I was just uh, trying to figure out if I was gonna do the live on my phone or if I was gonna do the live on my computer. Hold on, you're gonna hear some. I'm like, oh. <laughs> how is everybody doing today? <laughs> I finally, I'm getting a new cam, so I am so happy about that. Uh, hopefully, the webcam for the main computer will be coming in hopefully soon. I hope it comes in. I got ahead, I went ahead and I think it was um, uh, uh, Joy's Blessed Life who recommended one of the cameras that she had gotten, which was a Logitech something and I was looking and looking and looking and then I found it on sale because originally everybody else was having it for about ooh, $80 $89 so I was like oh my gosh she's like I found it for 30 bucks you guys $30 a Macari so we'll see hey bingo Roy Vlogs how are you and thank you for coming in I was just talking about how I found a really good deal on a new webcam for my computer. Um, a couple of people have mentioned this webcam, which is the Logitech C615, something like that. And um, I saw it on sale at Best Buy, but it was still like $50. And then I was looking around and then it went back up to about $80. i have seen it for and then I was like, oh, well, I was like, let me wait and see. And then I started on Macari. Uh, and so I'm hoping it was $30. So I'm hoping it comes in <laughs> and I don't get dipped by Mac a Macari, you know, seller. So, but I did go ahead and um, do it with my um, um, PayPal. So I know if I have any issues with uh, whenever you get stuff with PayPal, if you have any issues, you know, get your products or stuff, you could always um, do a claim and then try to get your money back. So that's what I'm hoping. So what has everybody been doing? I just been uh, recuperating from my little procedure I had on. Hey, Jaden, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I'm recovering from doing, having my little shoulder procedure done. It's still a little bit more uh, swollen over here, but not as bad as what it was. I was in pain constantly every single day for about two weeks. So I am so happy that it's getting better. Can you guys hear me? I moved my um, camera up a little because I don't have the mic hooked up because my phone is charging. So, and unfortunately with this mic, it, um, you could either, it has to be plugged into the same place that your charger is put in. So, I'm like, no. <laughs> Anybody has any plans for the weekend? Hey, Kenneth, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I know you were on forever, Kenneth, last night. I, I passed out. I took pain pills. I woke up and you were still going strong. <laughs> it's been one of those crazy days. I know. I did this as a last minute kind of like stream, you guys. I know there's a bunch of people that were scheduled to have lives right now. So we will see what happens. I am just looking around. All right. I just did a um, um, new uh, video I put out because I'm doing a collab with about 11 different channels. This is the most I've done any collab with. So I put that video out earlier today. So we will see how that works. Unfortunately, I was like a little blah during my taping of my video. So I'm like, Hopefully, <laughs> we will see what happens. It's like I've noticed that uh, 
My numbers are going up again, you guys. So I'm so excited. <laughs> Before you know it, I'll be doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. So I'm happy about that. So what I'm going to do, I know there's not a lot of people in here right now. I'm going to wait a few minutes and then kind of like show the things that I get within a month of doing unboxes. So I get a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to grab my other phone, trying to see if I could do a little bit of everything at one time. I've been watching somebody, their live stream, so, sorry, their playlist, so I'm going to have to stop that for a minute so I could go ahead and I forgot to share everything out earlier this morning. It's been like, oh my gosh. It's not one thing, it's another thing. I'm like sitting here, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh my gosh, 5,000 times, you guys. Let me go ahead and see what I can do. Let people know. what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Jaden, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I am just uh, sitting here trying to share everything out. I forgot to post um, this live stream out. I just kind of like was uh, Oh, yeah, Jaden, it'd be so much better, so much easier. I do like it. Have you looked to see if there's any, like, a lot of other people that have Jade, just Jaden in their, their channel to see if it will be something that would um, work better? Or maybe you could do, like, Jaden and an exclamation mark or something like that. Hey, Shane, Thorn family, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I know, I did like a last minute kind of like live thing. <laughs> I was going to go ahead and show everybody pretty much. Uh, oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, about kind of like what I get, like the amount of stuff I get within a month from doing my unboxings. Um, I have, I think, about seven. No, I think I have eight um, un uh, boxes that I get every single month. I get Derm Store. I get the regular uh, Ipsy. I get the uh, Boxy Charm, uh, the Base Box, now the Premium. Uh, I get Good Slam, Birch Box. Uh, also, I was getting the box by Fashionista. Um, also, I get of the International Snack Box. So I get about nine different, oh, and Fat Fit Fun. So I get 10 boxes in total, um, which is a lot of boxes. Plus I do a lot of, uh, of the mystery boxes, um, the Lyo Beauty. Um. Oh, I used to get Lore. I forgot a Lore. So yes, I get 11 boxes. Oh my gosh, I, get, I forgot all about a Lore. I get a lot of boxes. <laughs> Yeah, Jaden, you should definitely go ahead and look into that. Because, I mean, then this way it'll put you, there might be like seven Jadens. Because that was the same thing with my son's channel. His name is Caden. So we did Caden uh, uh, reviews, Caden this, and there were so many other Caden out there. So, hi, Jay Sylvia, thank you for coming in. So what I went ahead and did is that I looked up different names for his channel and I found that Caden Plays It was, uh, it was on its own. So that's why I changed it just from Caden to Caden Plays It. So I would look into that, Jaden, mm -hmm. and see, you know, maybe putting like, like a exclamation point or, you know, something like, Jaden number one or something like that, you know, maybe or 
maybe it'd help out. I don't know, but check it out. When you put into a uh, search, just put in Jaden and see how many things come up. So. Sorry, you guys. I am just, I forgot to um, really share this out. <laughs> Hey, CYZ how are you? Thank you for stopping by. And so I'm trying to do all that at the same time. I kind of like did this at the last minute, you guys. I wasn't sure how he's going to feel since having the procedure done on my shoulder. So I kind of like was like, oh, maybe I'll do something if I don't. Thank you. I do know that I have for next Saturday at 4 o'clock, I do have uh, the how-to lady. And so we are going to be doing an interview next week. And then after that, I believe, oh, I have a few people still uh, uh, coming up. I know I have uh, Janetti from Janetti's Corner. I still have Prince from Prince Life. I have about two other people also set up. I do have a gamer that's going to be coming on, which I'm very excited about having her on. She does more TikTok, uh, Twitch, and Discord. So I thought it'd be really interesting to have somebody from a different media than, you know, just YouTube, like what we guys do. And I thought it'll be a good way to, you know, learn to see what kind of uh, hurdles that somebody on Twitch or TikTok goes through. Uh, so, and then she could give us a little bit of insights on, you know, what to kind of like start up with with those media so oh it looks nice Jaden did you go ahead and check and see if when you look up that name how many other people show up with that same name I know I've had people who have told me that I should go ahead and take the mom off of my channel. I'm still on the fence about that. Uh, just because, I don't know, I've been making bonds forever, so. I don't know if um, I want to um, take it off, so. I think some of the people had uh, said that uh, it might interfere with my, uh, me getting some PR and things along that line as we go on because you know some people like to uh, there's different rules for kids channels versus you know adult channels um and uh with kids channels you can't put in those uh um uh comments sometimes and you have issues there hey tyrone how are you happy saturday <laughs> I know, I did like a fast, you know, <laughs> I get uh, live today. I've been, uh, I, I didn't know how I was going to kind of like feel. So I went ahead and um, I didn't want to post it beforehand and, you know, not come in. So I'm trying to share out. So we will see how that works. <laughs> I was just talking about how, you know, um, I've had some people who have suggested, not, not kind of like, say, oh, you have to definitely change it, but who kind of like suggested that with my name that, hey, Tuber Chat, thank you for coming in, um, that maybe I should take the mom off of my name uh, because, you know, there are different things. Um, I mean, the son off of my name, not the mom. Uh, but some people had felt that, you know, having uh, the and son in my my channel name that could go ahead and, you know, stop some PR people from being interested in my channel because there's so many different rules between kids' channels and adults. So we will uh, see if I wind up changing it, but then I would have to change my... Um, Twitter, I would have to change my Instagram, I would have to change my um, email, so I don't know, we'll see what happens, so, 
Thank you so much, Cuba Chat. I know I I didn't even go ahead and like I said, I just been sending out um um the information about the live stream. I kind of like put it up at the last minute, so I'm kind of like, oh, just letting everybody know how I've been feeling, uh, how I'm recuperating from having my procedure done. It, I feel so much better than I did before. It was really rough going, you guys, all last week, uh, or now two weeks. I've been having so much pain. I could barely, you know, move my arm up even just a little bit. So um, I'm getting some relief. I could put my arms up over here. So I'm like, yay, <laughs> feeling better, yay. <laughs> I'm a happy tape, uh, camper. We were just talking about uh, Jaden and his name. And that's what brought up about uh, my name that I had some people kind of like who said, oh, well, maybe it was better to go ahead and change it. And, you know, but I don't know. I've been makeup mom and son forever, but I've seen a, a lot of people who have just changed their names. So I'm like, whoa. <laughs> So it will be definitely uh, interesting to see uh, if I wind up changing my name or not. So, so we'll see what happens. But I pretty much came on here uh, just to kind of like, um, I was going to show everybody a bunch of the uh, products that I get pretty much in a month of doing unboxing, just unboxing. So. Hey, Martian, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I know I just did a really fast live. I'm kind of like uh, sharing everything out right now. So we will see what happens. <laughs> so pretty much as I was telling everybody, I get about 11 boxes now. That's a lot of boxes, you guys. So I get a whole bunch of stuff in for these months. I have, I just did a collaboration with 11 different young ladies, uh, great channel. So we did a uh, dollar store uh, full makeup challenge. So um, to make sure everybody checks out that video. Uh, also, I have going on for next month, I'm going to be doing uh, for once a week, every week for my birthday month, because my birthday is Friday or Saturday, but um, I will be doing a, a giveaway every week, and it'll be uh, for, I have three Jeffree Star mini palettes to go ahead and give away, so I'll be doing that, plus the last week, I don't know what I'll be giving, but we'll be doing a giveaway for every week, and then I believe I'll be doing another challenge with some of the ladies that I did this challenge with, and uh, I will be doing a uh, it's a secret right now, but it's going to be a few, a couple of different um, videos. So, hey, Hilda, how are you? Thank you for coming in. <laughs> I know. How are you feeling, Hilda? Me, I, I am feeling so much better even now. I can raise my arms a little. So, I'm like, woo. <laughs> I was in, uh, who was it? It was um, Wat Wat uh, Watson's uh, birthday yesterday. And so they were having drinks here and there. And I was like, man, I could really use one. And I'm not a drinker, so. <laughs> Are you cooking in the air fryer? Oh my gosh, I want an air fryer so bad. What have you made so far? Have you only made one dish or have you made more than one dish? Because I would be going crazy with that air fryer. I know my house is falling apart. <laughs> we got a clog downstairs in the sink, in the kitchen sink. But now our washer and dryer, our washer is not kind of like putting water in it. So my sister is going to get another washer dryer set, but we think, hey, spotless time, thank you for coming in. We think there's something wrong with the uh, water in itself. 
uh, you know, the water pressure or something like that. So I called in the warranty people. Hopefully they'll call me tomorrow. We'll get somebody in to look at it. So, but also I have my kitchen on one side of my kitchen. The um, electricity is not working. So I got th three sets of plugs that the electricity doesn't come on. So I'm kind of like limited to one spot in my kitchen. So if I would get the eyes air fire, I probably would just have to have one thing up there. Because it's like on the small part of my kitchen. The one that has like the big L, you know, I have a lot of space. It's not there. I know, Kenneth, I, I, your live stream went on and on last night. <laughs> I took a nap, I came back, and it was like, Gray, are you still on? <coughs> so, let me see if I could grab this. So, this is some of the stuff that I got in a month from all my unboxing. Oh, you got free delivery? Oh, Hilda, I was just telling everybody, um, who was it? Um, one of the other channels, they recommended me a, a webcam. And somebody else had mentioned it also on uh, Burns Junk Closet. And he does a lot of stuff. And he said that he recommended this webcam too. I was looking at it and looking at it. And it was about, I would say about, I saw it for $69. $78. I'm just seeing around that part, uh, that amount. And yesterday, the day before, I went ahead and stored a Macari for 30 bucks. So it's the Logitech six, uh, C615 webcam. And a lot of people like it. So I'm hoping uh, it works because that's why I'm on my phone right now. And I'm hoping you guys can hear me. And I've been trying to move up a little bit more. Um, my phone didn't charge enough. And so I have this mic here. But I have to plug it in the same place that I plug my charger in. And somehow my internet, I don't know. The last time I did a live stream on my computer, it wound up being really like blurry. Hey, Joy Bless Life, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Joy Bless Life is the one who recommended the webcam to me. So I was just telling them how I was seeing that uh, webcam. A couple of people have recommended it. And uh, I was seeing it for like, you know, anywhere from like 60 to $80, let's say. And I found it on Mikari for $30. Now, hopefully I get this webcam. Because if they tried to cheat me out of my money, I'll be really upset. The only good thing is that I did it through my PayPal. And so when you do things by your PayPal, they're supposed to go ahead and guarantee you um, that you get your product. If not, you could fight it and get your money back. So, But I was showing everybody, this is what I've gotten in a month of subscription boxes. I've gotten a lot of stuff, you guys. And I need to start putting this stuff away. So that this way I could put stuff in my giveaway pile versus my key pile. So I figured I would show you guys some of the stuff that I had gotten. Um, and just, you know, really, really quick. Um, got a little bag. I got a shampoo. So lay. I don't know what it is. It's supposed to be a clarifying solution shampoo for hair types, for all hair types. Um, it has butt weak at extract. Um, I don't know. I've never heard of this brand. So I'm like, okay. Then I got, which I'm, I'm so interested in this. This is a uh, by Makeup Babe. It's a space bar detoxifying charcoal underarm bar. Underarm. That's what I said. And you're supposed to, if you have stinky armpits, <laughs> you're supposed to use this. And it's supposed to, you're supposed to rub it on 
not like a, a deodorant, but you rub it on and it's supposed to, you know, help with nasty smells. So I don't know. We'll see. And then we have here a transform native mask gold wash. So I don't know. A lot of some minis. There's a police a vitamin C C C cream. Which I might go ahead and try that. And then I have some Kiehl's or Ultra Facial Cream. So I was telling everybody, see, look, now I got rid of this box. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. It's like I got so much stuff. So I was telling everybody, this is a like a card picture from my host laboratories that I got from um, a mystery box from them. So, oh my gosh, I don't even know what's all in here. I'm telling you guys, I get... What kind of budget do you want to do, Hilda? I mean, I found some really good palettes, like in ColourPop. They have some really, really nice ones. Then you have, like, Juvia's Place. They always have, like, sales and stuff. And Juvia's Place is really, really good, too. They have all different types of palettes with different colors and stuff. And you could always find these on sale. I just got a few more palettes from them. Um... I think ColourPop is really, really, really good. You'd be amazed. Uh, another one that doesn't work bad is like these little elf ones. They got some good colors in it. And these are really inexpensive. Um, but if you're looking for a more high-end palette, it just depends on what you want. If you want um, colored ones, uh, like uh, more blues, more vibrant, then, you know, you always can't go wrong with Jeffree Star, you know. I would say go to ColourPop. I think ColourPop has some very beautiful palettes. Uh, they have a good formula. I have... I think uh, Juvia's Price is where your money will be at. These are kind of inexpensive and they all have different types of palettes depending on if you want more neutrals, if you want more color. Um, and they're always having sales. And they have some really, 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 really pretty ones. All right. Let's see if I can. From this palette here, I mean, that's one swap. Oh, that one got a little crazy because it was on my knuckle. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I, I definitely will go ahead and uh, let you know. Cause, I mean, I do think that for the price that you get for, that you have to pay for these, they work really good. Hey, Mama Tamprin, how are you? Thank you for coming in. No, but I'll definitely go ahead and... Uh, um, hey, Nighttime Zone, how are you? Thank you for coming. I will definitely uh, DM you and let you know about different palettes. That, um, if anybody else uses palettes... Um, Hilda was asking something in the $30, $35 range for a good palette. And I was telling her um, Juvia's Place, they have really, really nice palettes, very inexpensive. Uh, ColourPop has some nice ones that will have, um, you know, nice color to it. Uh, if you want to go real, I mean, these ones are super, super cheap, like the Elf. Some of these elf ones are really, really nice. Um, and I'm trying to find the other. Oh, 
Telepop one that I had, which I don't know where it is. I have so many different ones. Um, depending, if you want to get a bigger uh, one, the Huda palettes, the small little minis, those are all really, really pretty, these ones here. But these are all you're going to kind of like get. So that is what you're going to get. You know, you're going to get small ones like this, but those are really good. Hey, Diana, Brianna, Fairchild, how are you? Thank you for coming in. We're kind of like showing everybody everything that I kind of like get in a month of all my subscription boxes. Thank you for sharing me out. I was just watching your news video, so I haven't gotten to finish yet. When I kind of like got overloaded and I was like, oh, no, I don't have enough time. So, <laughs> so here is a, which I never even opened it. This is a liquid blush. Oh, now I get open. It's a liquid blush. I don't know. It's like a pink. And I think I opened this up, so I'm not going to go ahead and pass it on to somebody else. So, here it is right here. Oh, it is kind of pink. I've never used liquid blush. That was a lot. I would not put on that much, but... Um, I have to try it. Has anybody else used liquid blushes? Uh, let me know. I think I've seen people use it that they go ahead and they use a sponge and they apply it with the sponge so they kind of like tear it out. So, I got another pearly uh, cleaning gel right there. I got, this is a Scout Massaging Serum by Eden. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Two scalp uh, using a vitamin blend of A, C, D, and E, hydrating and nourishing. So you put it directly onto your scalp and you massage it like that. So I would try new stuff for my my hair. I also got a little Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, dip brow gel. That is the little wand right there. Okay, interesting. It came in this little little one right here. I also got a something gloss. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at that writing right there. I can't read that, you guys. Plus, I got my refreshments. These are um, razors. So, Ipsy, these are, this is right over here from Ipsy. And then, oh, I wind up getting a dual edge brush. And that was the bag for the month. Oh, I also got, these are stickers for your nails. So, you would paint your nails and you would just like peel these off with a little tweezer and then place it somewhere. They also gave me another funky bag. I don't know. I think they sent me extra stuff. And when I look back at it, I've been really upset with Ipsy. Ipsy has been giving me every box for the last two months or two, three months. I've been getting it for the following month. And unfortunately, you know, at that point, it doesn't help me, it doesn't help my channel. So I've kind of like put them on hold and I was really upset by them. And then they turned around and gave me some other stuff. So, so this one is a Twisted Sister Innate Hair Care Instant Hydrating Conditioner. And this is Skylar Hydrating Body Lotion. I got a... Lower East Side eyeshadow. The heck, I don't even remember getting this, you guys. Some of this stuff I don't remember getting. That's what it looks like. I don't even know where I got this one. I know this probably was from Ipsy, so it's a little trio. 
two colors. I don't want to swatch it. Because I could always give it away. Oh, I do remember getting this as a add-on. And this is Violet Boss. And this is Pinky Promise. Which was I was a little confused about this because this is so pink. And it says Pinky Promise. And hey, Tiffany, how are you? And there's no pink to be found in this palette. I'm quite confused about this, you guys. So I, I'm telling you. You see this, and you would think, oh, look at that. It's got purple, Bible Boss. It's kind of be Pinky Promise. No pink. I don't know. I was a little let down by this, you guys. So, I mean, I do like Violet Boss. I do like the formula. It's not a bad formula. Let me see if I can watch this over here for you. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty palette. I know black is better. And that black is so silky, but let's see how, how it goes. Oh, not bad for black. I know, but it was like so confusing that this was, I don't know. All right, let me get to another one. Hey, Colonel Briggs, how are you? Thank you for coming in. So I got a set of these. And this is in the boxy charm. I know all my stuff is going to be all over soon. I got these little den skin. These are supposed to be uh, hydration uh, patches for your eyes. I haven't even opened it up yet. I know, definitely. So I'm probably going to hold this on for maybe a giveaway. This was the Beauty Bakery. This is their setting powder. And that's what came in like this little packaging, which I thought packaging is cute. So I haven't tried this yet, but I know this I'm definitely going to be keeping. <coughs> then I got another palette here. This is Illamasky. I mean, this is so, it feels so nice. This is another neutral. See, look, this has more pink in it than the, that pinky promise. So it looks like a really pretty palette. I haven't touched it yet because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, unfortunately, the good thing and bad thing about having getting so many palettes and having so much makeup is that some of the palettes tend to um, not look the same, but all have like the same, um, kind of like a uh, theme going on. You've got pinks, you've got purples, you've got blues, you've got greens. And so after a while, you get so many of them that I don't need seven neutral palettes. You know, I don't need 20 neutral palettes. And I must have, I must have now 160 palettes right now. And I would say 20 of them, 25 of them are probably neutrals and so I I'm trying not to open up and play with all the palettes even though I know everybody wants to see the palettes and see the swatches but I would rather go ahead and save them and give it to you guys as giveaways so that's how come I'm not going to be swatching a lot so uh, this one is a Bajia Beauty Lip Oil I got a lip oil, which I haven't opened this up either. Yeah, Tiffany, I, I'm going to one time put all my, okay, there goes another box, guys. A, um, another palette kind of like review thing and show all my palettes off because I must have about 160 now. If, if. If I don't have more than that. Uh, so look at this. Another palette here. <laughs> this one is by Babe Beauty. Uh, uh, this is Love Whispers. So I got this in the mystery box by Babe Beauty. These are some pretty colors. 
But again, I don't want to swap him because I have this one. I have the other one that almost looks alike. So I don't want to. I don't want to have it here and really not use them a lot. Some of the palettes that I have behind me, I have not even touched them yet. I know I do love collecting them. I want to try to get some more of the theme ones because, like, I have the uh, charmed one and I have the 90210 one. They have the friends one. And I want to get more like the TV show kind of uh, palette. So this was, I'm telling you guys, I have not even gone through these since I did the videos. So some of these things, I don't even know what I have in them. Okay. So this was Bay Beauty and got another palette. <laughs> And this is by Docolor, Docolor, Starlet Goddess. And there's the colors right there. Again, I don't think I swatched these yet. Or maybe I did. I have to look at the video because I can't remember. But right now, I mean, so far I've gotten what one one two three four palettes just by some of the boxes right now i also got a oh, pair of lashes and i'm not a lash person so i kind of would throw it out to everybody else i got a lipstick in full house Oh, and I didn't even swatch this either. There's that color right there. It's a pretty color, but I'm not daring with my lipstick. I think I give away more lipstick than anything else. Now, this was a, their glitter. And the only problem with this right here, and I said this the last time too. All right. So. It has this little wand thing, right? And so the problem is, is that if you see when I push it back in, you've got to get it through all the glitter. And to me, it was kind of like, I got, what kind of glitter is falling off of me? And there's more on my, my thing. So, I mean, it's a beautiful glitter. And I will have fun, you know, kind of like putting this on, but... You need a glitter glue, and I like the little packaging. I know those were pretty colors uh, on this one and on the Bay Beauty. So, this was Hash Lab. And this one was a mystery box. And on this one, I had gotten a lip liner. That is the color right there. I got a eyeliner. I don't want to open right now. It's a liquid eyeliner. I also had gotten this color right here. Which is more of a right there, more of a pinky neutral. Which I do like that kind of look. So there was also a more brown, and this one was a I think this is a. I think this is not a lipstick. I think this is a this is a um let's see if I can, more of a shimmering color. I put it right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So which is kind of pretty. 
And then this was a, a matte lip clamp. And this is in her mystery box. That was the other, that's the matte lip. And I had, I think this, that one was $50, something like that, for uh, the house, uh, Lady Gaga's um, makeup brand. So, like, let me take some of this stuff off. We could show some more if I have anything else to swap. Like I said, I try not to open up everything because I'm not going to use everything. I don't know what was in here, but I got a snail essence <coughs> mask. I got a, an incredibly new nourishing yet fast absorbing face serum by Ursula Major. Another itchy bag, which again, I got my June bag in July. I got my May bag in June, so I never know. So here's another one, which was like a repeat from what I had gotten before, because now I got two of them. Thank you, Ipsy. They give them some little radiance pads. Uh, this was the bag for, I think this was, uh, I think this is a glittery, glitz, surprise, mystery kind of bag. This was the lipstick. I never used it, just got smushed in the thing, but I probably won't wear that one. And then this is Stuck On You, and this is a eye primer, which is more of a beige color by Beauty Crop. So I haven't opened up this either. I might keep that one. I don't know. Oh my gosh. This was the pink sugar, which I got in those little clips right there. Can everybody hear me? I had gotten these little uh, nail things, a lip mask, another mask. I wind up getting a candle and they gave candles and not only the candles, which I thought this was kind of cute. Some people were like, oh, why did so they gave you a book of matches, and they gave you a candle, which I thought was a cute idea. It's very gloss, uh, very cool. And then it's just called Wishes. Um, it smells nice. Nothing like. Now, if you guys ever, and I'm gonna, I just got a whole bunch from from them. This is Lennox Light, and. This is a uh, burn stem closet, uh, her grandson. And so her, um, they go ahead and they make the candles and they help raise money for a uh, court dog for her grandson who has a special uh, seizure. So I love these candles. I just ordered a whole box of them right now. So I have to do an opening for that. I wind up getting a hand moisturizer. I wind up getting this EKG looking um, necklace, which I thought was cute. I got a little coin purse that changed colors. I think that was all that was in that box. I can get rid of that finally. Yay! <laughs> Oh 
gosh, there's stuff stuck back here. All right, I got another power. Uh, under the sun, oh, this is the high right power. I say beauty. Oh, I got another little palette here by Sleek Cosmetics. Another neutral palette. So that's what my fifth one. Uh, I got a gray sea salt and bamboo chocolate body scrub. Chocolate. Charcoal. I got a lip balm. This is by Babe Cosmetics. So this is like a uh, glitter lip, lip gloss. Then I got this. Oh, beautiful. It's a little sample of um, I like this of like uh, perfume, which I do like getting perfume samples. That is that one. Not bad, you guys. And I'm trying to find out what I did with this cat. This is oh, right here. This is Bay Beauty. I did like this palette, but I got another palette. <laughs> Look at the colors of them. This is so, so pretty. I love this color right here when I put it in an inner corner. Look at that color. Let's go ahead. I mean, I thought this was such a pretty, pretty palette. Very vibrant power. It's like if you want to do the colors of the rainbow, and they're very smooth feeling. So those are some of the color swatches. But I thought that was such a cute little palette. And this is a little color shape right here. And this is magnetic, so that's why it stays on. But look how thin that palette is. But really, really pretty colors. So right now, for this month, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadow palettes so far. That's why I get, I have so many behind me. This was a oh, glossy box. This is their summer one. I got me Ico um, uh, waterproof mascara. I had gotten me the beautiful rounds, which I do like using these things, especially these small ones to get, you know, for your eyes, for your mascara and stuff like that. I had gotten a eye jewels chocolate display eyeshadow. And I think I had tried this. Yes, it looks, it's like a moussey color. It's like so weird. It's just like liquid. So it was quite neutral, not, I mean, I was like, ah, but to play around with it, if you go ahead and put more colors, that's kind of cool. Also got a skin repair, vitamin K, and something here. Oh, what did you make, Kilda? You still didn't tell me. I got a surf infusion spray by Bumble and Bumble for your hair. Then I got in this little bag to use. 
Oh my gosh, I gotta put some of this stuff back in here. Hi, Hilda, what did you go ahead and make in the fryer? Is it the first item that you put in the fryer, or do you got more, or you did more stuff? Putting all this stuff back. This also was uh, some of the stuff that I got for my um, challenge that I did with. I did a collab with 11 other channels, you guys. So, two collabs. We did a full face of makeup with Dollar, Store, uh, Dollar Tree makeup. And so, like right now, if you can see the highlighter that I have on, is the Dollar Tree highlighter. I was like amazed. I was like, whoa, oh, that looks so good. So, found some good stuff. Chicken and cheese. Ooh. Ooh. You're making me hungry, Hilda. I need to find something to make tonight. I've been doing a lot of more, um, you know, store brought stuff and frozen pictures and. I think my son wants me to cook something. I'm like, I haven't gone shopping. Which after this, I'll probably run over to Walmart or someplace to go get some something to eat. So one of the last things that I did get for the month, which is another palette, which I'm so excited about this palette, you guys. This is the Narvina ABH Narvina collection. I have not touched it yet, you guys. I think there's some beautiful colors in here. Let me see if I can swap something this side. I mean, ah, uh, I haven't played with it yet. I'm still waiting. I amazing that I always wear. Um, makeup to work and the last few days because I have been feeling really really bad um, this is some of the colors I mean it's they're just beautiful so I am like so thrilled about this I do have the sister one for this one which is this one And I love this palette. So now I have a good set of colors just from here. Let me see if I can open up this one now again. And so there we go. Look at all the beautiful colors that I got now. I like the formula of these. They're very pretty. And that's how can I say, if you um, go ahead and if you're going to invest in any palettes, invest in ones that have like different colors. So this way you have, you could make any colors that you want. So I'm so excited about these. Hold on. This is the ABH uh, Takeover. Uh, I got this exfoliating wash right here for one of the other boxes. This is uh, a foot lotion that I had gotten from one of the other boxes. I don't think I had gotten this in the ABH Takeover. I had gotten another, uh, this is in translucent. This is a setting spray by Anastasia. Uh, I'm excited to try this because I've never tried their setting powders. Then I got a loose highlighter from them. Now this is in the premium uh, boxy charm. And it is a pretty color. I haven't tried this yet. I haven't opened it up because 
I just had it. I'm holding on to it because I don't know. It looks really bougie. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. Then I had gotten a brush from them. Yeah. Everything kind of like that mixed up. Uh, this is like Codex, this is a super food kind of thing that I got. Golden color, yeah. I just, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not use it. So I got this color right here, which is a neutral, which is right up my alley. And this is called Sophia S E P. S E T I A. For some strange reason, I know the word, but I'm not saying it right. And then the other one was this one, which is this brow gel. This is too right for my eyebrows, so this will be definitely passed on to somebody else. Um, and so that is the end of that box. So, I mean, that's pretty much stuff that I have gotten within a month. So, essentially, this month I got one palette, two palettes, three, four. Hey, Chris, how are you? Thanks for coming. Five. And then seven. Oh my gosh. That's why, you guys, I have so many pounds behind me. <laughs> it's just that it keeps on growing and growing. I have kind of like stopped buying any new palette. Um, I am wanting to get, though, which I might go get. It's the, I know, the Jeffree Star's uh, new palette. I'm thinking I have it in my basket. I've been playing around with getting it. Then I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. Then, yeah, I'm going to get it. And so I haven't decided yet what I'm doing with that. The issue with getting, buying the Jeffree Star palette right now is that one, um, I have so many palettes. Uh, two, if he has another uh, mystery box, there's a chance I'm going to get it in a mystery box. Maybe, maybe not. You never know. Um, so, I don't know. I'm, I have a beautiful purple one. I have this one, which is the um, blood sugar palette that I got, that I just got from him, that I haven't even touched this one yet. And, I mean, I know all the colors are all different, but it's still a pink palette right here. So, I don't know. I'm kind of, like, on the fence. What do you guys think? Uh, I think I have enough palette to keep me busy for some time. I am thinking about for next week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Probably do like a little short uh, before I do for next Sunday. Next Saturday, I do have the How To Lady. Uh, I'm, she's going to be my interview that I'm going to interview interviewing uh, at four o'clock. So I'm trying to keep it on Saturdays at four o'clock to keep it kind of like uh, everybody will remember that's the time that I do my interviews. Uh, but next Sunday, I'll do another Get Ready with Me. And I might do one tomorrow. We'll see. If I do a get ready with me in the morning time, I will go ahead and do like a little short. Uh, I'll pick five different palettes. And I'll have everybody pick which palette that they would like me to go ahead and use. And to kind of like review for that day. Uh, I'm hoping everybody could hear me. I know I've been having issues with my mic. Um, and today even more because my mic is right here. Unfortunately, my phone was not plugged in, so the mic is not plugged in because the same spot that the battery gets charged is where the mic goes at. 
my computer unfortunately has been uh, the last stream that I did. Uh, it was very blurry. Uh, the sound was great, but it was so blurry. Uh, I am getting that new webcam, so hopefully that will help. I don't know if it's my um, um, my uh, Oh, just in a little quiet thought. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's my um, internet connection that it was um, blurring. It was so slow. Or was it um, the cam? I don't know yet. So I'm kind of like waiting to get that fixed. So please, everybody, just have patience with me with my volume. Vol vol volume. Okay, I'm in New York. I can't say that. Um, how loud my <laughs> my voice is, or how low it is. Uh, I know I'm having an issue with it. My phone used to be really, really good. It's getting old now, and that's what I mostly been doing a lot of my videos and my lives on. Um, and so hopefully, uh, I will get it all taken care of very shortly, very soon. That's how come I'm trying to stay closer up to the, um, my camera. So this way you'll hear me better. And I think when I fix the, the camera, uh, the mic, I put it on for speakerphone because that's kind of like what I'm on. So, oh, good. <laughs> so I'm trying to find which one is better. I mean, I know I have to figure out something. Uh, because if I do another live on my computer and it still does that blurriness, even with the new um, uh, webcam, then I know it's my connection. And then it'll be the point that, yeah, you guys could hear me a lot, but you guys won't be able to see me very well. Uh, or do I go ahead and try to find another mic for my phone that I could go ahead, or I might have to do like a headset I or a Bluetooth kind of like headset one so I'm going to look into that if um, the webcam on my uh, computer doesn't work I don't know if it's my internet connection I don't know if it's that we have at one point um, I have my two phones I have my computer on my internet my son has his uh, uh, iPad plus he has his TV that runs on the internet because we don't have cable my, my TV has the uh, internet too. Um, also, my um, sister has two devices in her room that's going on. So I think there's too many of us on the internet at one point. So we had been looking into speeding up our internet, but unfortunately we had issues with that too because you have to hook it up somewhere, some way, and my sister and myself didn't know how to do it. Hi, Lilo Beauty Dears. How are you? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you stopping by. I kind of like did a uh, review of some of the items that I've gotten for the whole month of from all my subscription unboxes, my mystery unboxes. Like uh, I do get from Lilo Beauty. I get the mystery boxes from them. I'm waiting to see what comes up in August. I'll probably get the August uh, uh, mystery box too. So, yeah, Joy Bless. I think there's too many things on at the same time. Um, I think next time that I go ahead and try to do the live sh live stream. Oh, thank you very much. I I love the bags. The bags are so so cute. There's so many things in the bag. So I am so happy with getting the mystery bags. So like I said, I had gotten the eye primer. I haven't tried it yet, but I have, next time I order the August bag, uh, mystery bag, I'll probably try a different product and see how that works. So this way I can show everybody little things that you have on your website. So which will be kind of cool. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think, Joy, the next time I go ahead and do the live stream, I will unhook both my phones from the internet 
uh, and I'll make sure I have my uh, television off. And then I'll tell my son he can only have the TV on, but not the TV and his um, tablet on. And then hopefully that will be, um, that will help out a little bit better with um, the live stream. So you guys can hear me a little bit better than what you guys are doing now. But like I said, my last one I did for Jeffree Star, I was so disappointed because my view shows that everything looks good. But when I replayed after it went up, um, oh, that'd be great, Lilo Beauty. I would love to go ahead and uh, uh, get a bag to go ahead and show everybody and do a giveaway. I'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways for uh, a giveaway every single week in August because uh, it's going to be my birthday week. So, yes, that would be wonderful. I'll go ahead and I'll uh, DM you on Instagram. Uh, and then this way I could add that to my August giveaway. So, cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, nothing's blurred right now because I'm on my phone. The problem with my phone is that the volume is starting to go for some what strange reason or not, or other. When I'm doing a live stream, people could hardly hear me. When I do my videos and I do the unboxings, I'm using my cell phone too, but it's much more clear. So I'm like kind of like confused. So I will eventually get there and get a better. I do know that if next week... Um, I haven't got the webcam and I'll probably do like a test uh, uh, live stream so that this way I could see um, how it works. If it does better and doesn't blur, then I'll be able to go ahead and use the new webcam um, and do the live for next week um, with uh, the how-to lady. But if it's not going to come out very good, then I'm going to have to play around with my phone. Or I might have to get a um, headset with a microphone that's um, um, Bluetooth. So maybe that will work. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I definitely will uh, message you on Instagram. Oh, you're not been. You know, uh, unfortunately, Chris, because of what I do, not unfortunately, because I love my mystery boxes, I love my subscription boxes, yes, I got to spend the money to go ahead and uh, show it off to everybody. And like I said, I get a lot of products. I use half of them. Some of them I save because, oh, I'll try that next after I'm done. But um, yes. Yeah. Um, and also to do any of the looks and stuff with the uh, products, I need to go ahead and spend the money. So can't wait for that check. And I'm still so far away from being monetized. <laughs> uh, not only my numbers, uh, my numbers are going really fast. I just did my 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, and now I'm going to be, I'm past 700 now. So I'm almost at 800, so. <laughs> yeah, I like the way that my background came. I was going to go get a, a green screen or I was going to get, you know, a screen behind me. But I like what I have back here. I could change the products every now and then so everybody could see, um, you know, different things that are up. So I'm trying to move things around uh, back there so you might see some things change up a little bit. So. Yeah, I wouldn't be an unboxing. Uh, um, I think I'm only at 16, 1678, something like that. So I still got a lot more to go, Chris. A lot, lot more. But eventually I get there. I'm not in a rush. I'm enjoying the, the trip. I'm enjoying uh, making new friends. So to me, it, it'll eventually get there. I have, I had my channel 
I think from either 17 or 18, 2018, 2017, that I really didn't do very much on my channel. Uh, at that point, I had my son's videos and my videos. It was more my son's for his review. And that's why we would make a mom and son. Then I realized after I got on the channel that, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to hit the 1K before my 4K. Um, but that's how come my channel has make a mom and son. And I didn't realize that you couldn't have, you know, kids videos and, and adults do differently. So. Yes, yes, definitely Lila Beauty deal. Yep. No, I I I'm getting there slowly, slowly but surely. Oh yeah, Joy Bless. I'm well, you know what? My my numbers on both ends have been going up really, really well. So I'm excited to have the new friends. But like I said, I officially started 2017, 2018 but I had other stuff on. So I didn't really focus on my channel until October of 2020. And I started off with about 33 people. So I'm now what? October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So in nine months, I'm now at what? 736. So it's like, probably but surely. I, I'm surprised I got past 100. I was like, who wants to sit there and watch me? <laughs> but um, I, you know, I'm loving it. I'm loving the, the ride. I'm I'm not stressing out. I was stressing out before everybody was like, oh, your analytics, your numbers, this, that, this, that. And I'm like, you know what? It would just stress me out. And then I would do my videos and I'd be like, oh my gosh, what? I, and I'm like, you know what? Um, my friends will come here. I have my friends that support me, that I support them. Uh, I am growing and, uh, you know, and it gives me a chance to get to know all my new friends instead of having, you know, like a hundred people at one time, you know, I get to know people and then they're like, oh, yay, hey, how are you doing? You know, and then we uh, move on to another set, so... <laughs> Yeah, Chris, it is better to relax. Um, you, I had somebody who asked me the other day, I went for my procedure, and he was a younger kid, and uh, he was like, oh, yeah, you know, cause, you know, you always got to promote yourself, so I promoted myself, and I got two new uh, family friends here, uh, and he was interested in, you know, YouTube, and he's talking, and I was like, you know what, I love doing YouTube. I love being a content creator. I love making friends, but I did tell him it is a lot of hard work. Uh, it isn't like you just point your camera, you shoot, and then you put it up, and that's it. The, it's a lot more to it. You have your analytics, your numbers, this, that. There's so many other things to YouTube, um, but you have to be very dedicated. You know, you have to be a dedicated person in order to be a content creator. Um, it is a lot of work. It is a lot of fun, but it is a lot of work. So, and that's kind of like the advice that I give everybody. You know, if you do not have the time, you know, if, if you're, you know, your typical 18 year old, 19 year old college student, you want to go out and you want to have fun and you want to do this and you want to do that. This is going to take more time from you. You're not going to be able to go party on a Saturday or a Thursday night you know, and still film, cut, you know, do everything you have to do and, you know, get your ideas and, you know, edit and do all that stuff and, you know, still go to school, go hang out with your friends. I mean, it, it's a balance there. You didn't have the idea of the amount of work that went into it? I didn't either. I really didn't either. When I started, I looked back at my videos. I did my one of my first videos in my hallway in the dark, <laughs> kind of like, and I was like, oh, I did another video in the dark thinking, oh, well, you see me better. But it's like I was a floating head, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't realize how much work it went into having a channel, how, um, 
you know, you have to love doing this. Um, it's not as easy as everybody kind of like says it is. Um, you have to be creative with your content. You have to be able to relate to your new friends and family. Um, you have to be also, you know, honest with yourself and honest with everybody there. You know, I, I just think it's, it's, it's a lot more, you know, and you're also putting yourself out there to the world and you have to be able to learn to uh, accept the, the great comments and also accept those bad comments. And <laughs> you have to be able to chuck it to the fact that I might not be somebody's cup of tea, so you might not like what I do on my channel. You know, I am sorry about that, but this is me. This is Michelle. This is what you get. <laughs> you know, I can't, I'm not, I can't change myself. I'm not going to be something fake, you know, and I'm going to be out here and I'm going to, you know, tell you what I think and, you know, and hopefully you like it and you stay and you become a really good friend and, you know, watch me grow and watch the channel grow. So, you know, that's all you could do. You know, that's all you can kind of like ask for. There are millions of channels on here on this platform, you know, and they have so many people to kind of like uh, pick from and somebody will like me and I will be that type of person that they will kind of like, you know, be like, hey, whoa, I could vibe with her. And you have to vibe with somebody because I know I watch so many unboxing videos. You know, I have some people that I look at their videos and I'm like, whoa, what the heck happened there? And then other ones I will keep constantly keep on going to because it's like, oh, it's the person. It's, you know, how they do it. And it's just like, I don't know. It, it's a lot more work than what I thought it was going to be. But like I said, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. I'm here for hopefully a very, very long time. <laughs> hopefully. We'll see. You know, I got these little naps all over the place that drive me nuts. So if you see me go, ooh, it's because of a nap. <laughs> Anybody else planning on doing anything special for the rest of the weekend? I personally thought it was Sunday. I didn't realize it was Saturday. I was off on Friday, so it kind of like got me all confused. And when somebody told me it was Saturday, I was like, woohoo, I got an extra day for my weekend. <laughs> I was like, oh no, yep. <laughs> Make sure you guys thumb up the video, please. Make sure you also hit your notifications. Thank you, Cooking with Miss Brown. Thank you so much. I um, like I said, I'm uh gonna be doing a couple of new things coming up. I am uh going ahead and I have a collab with eleven different channels. So that went out earlier this morning. So make sure you guys check that out. A really great group of girls. Uh, so check out their videos. I'm also doing, starting next month, I will be doing giveaways every single week for my birthday month. Because my birthday is on the 7th. So that's Friday or Saturday, I think. I'm going to be an old woman, you guys. I'm going to be 50 years old. 5-0. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, and I will be interviewing uh, I think it's next Saturday because I'm interviewing the how-to lady so yes <laughs> it's next Saturday so um, so that's how I'll be celebrating my birthday <laughs> I don't do very much for my birthday you guys um, so for for celebrating I will be giving away a Jeffree Star small palette the mini palettes, and also like I have the The ranch palette, which is a new one, uh, be giving away palettes every single week and maybe some other goodies uh, for the whole month of August. And then I have with an, another group of young ladies, hopefully we're working on the details, but we'll be doing um, a certain makeup look, uh, hopefully once a week for about four weeks for the whole month of September. So it will be a collab against other um, uh, 
with them so everybody could see what we do with this look. Yes, Ms. Brown, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> and my son is only nine. So you could tell that I am always so tired. <laughs> it's like I'm a, I'm, I'm a tired mom. <laughs> and I'm a single mom. So, yes, I was married, worked for about 10 years, and so we're divorced now. Uh, he's living on an island right now. He's in St. Thomas. So, it's like, but yeah, I see uh, everything that uh, some of my friends that live out in Jamaica, that they go ahead and they cook and they're cooking all this good food and they have the bread food and the ackee. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember living in Cayman Islands and I had an ackee tree in the back and I had a breadfruit tree in the back and it took me forever but I finally learned how to pick out a good breadfruit finally after everybody says what do you mean you picked out that it's like that's not a good bread well you told me it's like it took me forever but I finally figured out how to pick out good breadfruit stuff we used to have mango trees near us and stuff I mean it's the best mangoes are from the Caribbean I'm telling you so I've been over to Jamaica I think about two times because it wasn't that far from Cayman Islands but Oh my gosh, I miss jerk chicken. I miss uh, festival. It's like, oh my gosh. I, I love all that food. Hey, Janice Garcelon, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Yeah, I miss all the food from the island. It's like, it is the best food. The fruit, the, the food, the freshness, everything is just so good. You can't get it here. I cannot find jerk seasoning for nothing out here. And it's like, and if I find it, their idea of jerk seasoning really is not Jamaican jerk seasoning. So one of the channels that is watching, they did a, your own jerk sauce. So with Scott bonnets and stuff like that. So I'm going to hopefully attempt soon to make my own jerk sauce. So this way I could go ahead and make uh, some jerk pork. Oh, I'm dying for jerk pork, jerk chicken. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like the best thing, you guys. <laughs> I doubt I'm going to find ackee out here or breadfruit, so that's going to be out of the question unless I make, you know, make a trip down to Jamaica or the Cayman, you know, and then go ahead and have some real food. <laughs> so, I was just talking about how I got many things this month from all my subscription unboxes oh i would love that miss brown i am doing much better today than i've been doing for the last <coughs> two weeks um it's still a little slow in my shoulder but nothing like it was before i should go ahead and put my arms up over here i can't do that before so the constant sharp pains that I was getting every single day for 24 hours, it has gone away. Uh, just when I do certain movements, I could go ahead, uh, I'll feel the pain go up. I don't have all the strength in my arm, uh, but they said I was going to have to go through therapy. So what happened was, uh, long, uh, long story, but I had shoulder impingement, shoulder uh surgery done in April um, after that I was getting a lot of pain in my biceps right over here every single time I would raise it would like spasm up you know and it was getting to the point that it's getting harder and harder I still couldn't put on a regular bra I had to do the front closure because I couldn't turn everything around um, hold on so um you know, the doctor turned around and said, oh, well, we'll go ahead and send you to physical therapy. Oh, you need the, the, the placement where the rotary cuff goes into my shoulder. It needs to have good strength, so you have to go to physical therapy and put that up. Turned out that not this Sunday, last Sunday before that, I had trouble sleeping. My arm is just hurting. So it, even if I slept on the other side, I slept more on my back, I propped it up. It was just so much pressure and it was just bothering me. I went into work on that Monday. I only stayed a half a day. I was in tears by the time I left. Um, the pain 
was so bad that I I couldn't even raise my I couldn't even open my hand I couldn't do anything I couldn't raise my arm whatsoever I had to physically take it with this hand and move my arm because it just wouldn't move it was so much pain I finally go over to my doctor um, that Tuesday I went ahead and they told me to come in. I went in. The doctor left. I was so upset. I go ahead. I tell them, hey, I'm going to be seeing somebody. It don't matter. Some doctor is going to see me today and help me out here. I saw her. She sent me for an ultrasound thinking that I had a clot. Uh, there was no clot there. That was the worst, worst exam I had in the world. I told the poor girl that was doing my ultrasound, I told her, I'm going to be cursing. I was like, I'm not cursing at you, but I will be cursing. She says I expected. I cried the whole time. I was in so much pain. She had to move my arm in certain ways. It was just terrible. I went. Uh, they called back. Said there was no clot. I'll see the doctor on Wednesday. I went to go see my doctor on Wednesday. And mind you, I'm in so much pain. He turns around to me and he says, um, as I'm, uh, I moved a certain way, and the shock would go from all the way down into my, I mean, down my arm, up my arm. It was just painful when I, it would move a certain way. And it happened. I was like, oh my God. And he was like, listen, if you're going to be over dramatic, I cannot see you. I can't take care of you. I was like, what the heck? And so he says, well, go ahead, go get the MRI. He moved my arm up and down. Then he gives me a diagnosis as traumatic uh, uh, rotary tear. So he's telling me it's something really dramatic done in my arm, but he's saying I'm being over dramatic. I go in, I get the MRI. Uh, uh, it got me squeezed in, and it showed that I had calcific tendonitis. It is the second most painful shoulder issue that you could have besides uh, having a frozen shoulder. Um, and yeah, when I saw him that Friday, he was like, oh, yeah, it's very painful. I was like, dude, see, I wasn't, I wasn't seen over dramatic by my pain. I was in a lot of pain, you guys. <laughs> and so I Thursday, I finally got a barbitage where they went in. They had to go in, and it's a calcified uh, calcium that builds up in a certain area in the joint. Uh, and it could take 6 to 12 months to reabsorb by itself naturally. Or you could get the barbitage where they put a little, um, they put a needle in, they squish it with uh, saline or lidocaine to help break up the, um, the calcium. So this way your body can reabsorb it even faster. So that's what I went ahead and did. When I went in, the doctors there were so sweet. He was like, oh my gosh, it was a very big, the biggest calcium deposit that they saw. He said he surprised with all the from the MRI that it was solid. It wasn't a, sometimes it's like a toothpaste consistency, but it was more solid. And also all the swelling, the edema, all the uh, inflammation that I had within my shoulder, he was surprised that I was sitting there. <clears throat> so they said that I might have to have it a second time. So in two weeks, hopefully once I get back into work on Monday, I make a follow-up appointment with my orthopedic doctor. When I go see him, they'll do another MRI or another X-ray and see how much of the calcium has disappeared. If it's so good uh, and it's much, much less or very little there, then we're good to go. I will just have to go for physical therapy to help build up my um, movement in my arm just because it's been so long with everything going on. Or if it's not lessened a lot, then they might have to go back in again and do that same procedure to help speed up that um, dissolving. So. Namaste, BB. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Thank you for thumbs up. How are you? I'm always watching your channel. I love uh, um, watching, seeing around. So hopefully this will take care of this pain. Hopefully I will get back to normal. 
I will be catching up hopefully with all my comments. Everybody's been leaving me comments. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I love replying back to everybody's comments. Uh, but I've been behind on that. So you guys, I know I've been behind. I will eventually catch up. Uh, so please forgive me for that. Um, and then this way, um, I will slowly but surely uh, get back on track. So, which is a good thing. So we'll, uh, hopefully, but I am feeling, I have so much relief. Um, feeling so much better, you guys. It's just, uh, I, it, it's just a relief not to be in that much pain anymore. Yes, Miss Brown. I am like, I had people praying for me and the prayers have worked <laughs> because I, it's just amazing. I, I know there's some guys here and stuff like that, but I have not been able to put on a regular bra since April. I've been doing the front hook one. So um, I was able to do that today. So I'm like, yay, <laughs> I've accomplished something. <laughs> And I did, I did do my hair, but I was able to wash it nice. And so I was, I'm able to push it back and grab it where before I was stuck wearing my little, um, you know, coverings because I was able to kind of like do it like that and do it like that. <laughs> it was easy to do. Yes, from the paw. I, I, I love it. I, I know that you just went, uh, did it to, uh, to the market because you guys finally opened up and had your restrictions down. So it was fun to watch. One day, make it there. Place that I would love to go see. So, Vivek, in Nepal, what is the main language, or is there more than one language that's spoken in Nepal? Because I know you have a lot of um, um, Indians that are there. I'm a Bollywood person, you guys. I watch a lot of Bollywood, which is Indian Hollywood. But I love the shows. I love the older shows. Some of the new shows are getting more risque. Um, but the older shows were just amazing because it was just, I remember watching my first Bollywood and they were doing like a, a gun scene. They were having a, a war or something. And the next thing you know, everybody stopped and everybody's doing a dance. And they're like singing, ah, da, da, and I'm like, what the heck happened here? <laughs> it was amazing. Because yeah. I know Namaste, I mean, I know Apte Seho, uh, I know some more Hindi. I know a couple of Hindi words. I could watch a Bollywood video with uh, knowing a little bit of what's going on, not all the complete details, but that's what happens when you marry to uh, somebody from India for 10 years. <laughs> so you pick up some of the words. <laughs> some of the bad words, too. <laughs> but it's like, oh yeah, I love Bollywood. So if anybody ever wanted to watch a Bollywood video, yes, I know a little. I know like um, some of my, my numbers, X, Do, Keen, Cha, Punch, which is one, two, three, four, five. Tani is water, Palang is bed. Um, I know a lot of, uh, words. And so when people are saying a conversation, I could understand, um, what they're talking about. I don't know all the details. So me, I'm originally from Brooklyn. So only when you hear my call dog call coffee, my A's, my O's, you know, I'm like, hey, you guys, you know, <laughs> things like that. Uh, you'll hear my New York accent come out for me. But my ex-husband is from India, from Mumbai. 
uh, we were married for about 10 years. And I met him on Shadi.com, which is Shadi means wedding. So it's a, a wedding site. And I didn't know that until I got on there. <laughs> and uh, we met online. And so like you said, I, he lived in Cayman Islands, uh, Grand Cayman, so in the Caribbean. So I moved there and I was there for about five, six years. I lived in Cayman Islands. And then from there, I came back here to uh, Texas. I've been to a couple of different places. I've been to India uh, once. I went to Nanakal, which is up in the mountains. I was in Mumbai. Um, we were going to go closer to uh, Rajasthan in the um, in the desert area. But when we had went, it was during the monsoon season. I've never seen rain like that. You guys, if you want to see about rain, look up a monsoon in India uh rain and you're just going to be just amazed at how i mean oh my gosh i've never seen rain like that i people walking in the streets you know with water up to their their knees you know with their shoes off it was, it was just incredible it, it was a, i i just had so much fun i went to taj mahal i went to a whole bunch of places so i had fun and then i've been to ireland to um, I was in Waterford and I was in Dublin. So my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, well, my sister-in-law is from Ireland. So we went there for the wedding. So I mean, there's a few places. So but there's so many places I want to go see. So I would love to. Um, go to Nepal. I love to go to Italy. I want to go to Greece. I think Greece would be so nice. I want to go to the UK. <clears throat> and I would love to go to Japan. Right. I think Japan, I would say my five top places, Greece, Italy, uh, Greece and Italy is next to each other. I love to go to Nepal, uh, Japan. Um, so, and um, I would love to go back to Ireland too. Hi, Charlene, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I never really got to explore Ireland or India as much as I wanted to. India is so vast, and there's so much culture, and the colors, and everything is just amazing. Hi, The Gathering Within. How are you? Oh, yeah, Miss Quick and Louis Brown. Africa seems so amazing. I uh, came in, Grand Cayman was such a great place because it was like a mixture of so many different people. And I had people from different parts of Africa um, on Grand Cayman that I had met. And some of the pictures and the places are beautiful. It's the same thing. I would love to go to Canada. I know Canada is not that far, but uh, Canada is very beautiful. I've seen so many beautiful pictures of the different areas in Canada is that I would love to go over there. And that's a place that's not massively far for some of us. Um, even from Jamaica to Canada, it's not so bad as going to Africa or Europe. So I do think in Europe, I think they have the architecture of some of the buildings and stuff is just beautiful. I really do. <laughs> Welcome to Nepal. I hear people in Nepal are just amazing, just like in India. Very nice, very quiet. Um, you know, and I mean, any place that you go to, it doesn't matter what city in the U.S., Good night, Joy Bless. Uh, it doesn't matter what city you go to, what country you go to, you're always going to have bad elements in any city that you go to. I am sorry. I mean, it, it doesn't matter where, where you're at. I mean, Cayman Islands had a bad part of town, too, and nobody went over there. You know, it's just, it's just the way life is, you know. Um, 
but you know every place has their drama and stuff i know in india even in mexico i've been to mexico uh over the border uh, and uh, everybody always warns me, don't give to the kids because they're going to be begging. Because you give to one, you're going to have 5,000, you know, other people following you. They, they won't leave you alone. They're, you know, so I mean, you just, and it's the same thing in India. You have a lot of kids and people that come up to uh, your rich stores and stuff, and they ask you uh, for money and stuff, and um, you want to be generous and you want to be a good human being and go ahead and do that but um then you got to also be safe so it's kind of like hard but you have places like that everywhere you go to i mean i've heard bad things about jamaica i've been to jamaica different areas in jamaica i've known a lot of people who are from jamaica um and is a very beautiful place but you got your good spots you got your bad spots so Hello, the gathering within. <laughs> How are you doing today? We're just talking about a little bit of everything. All my lives start on one topic and then I wind up going like clear across to something else. <laughs> I just, I could like, I just talk. <laughs> and if somebody brings something up, I will talk about something else again. <laughs> The joke in our family is that us rows of women, we could go ahead and talk about a fly going by, and we could talk about how that fly went by for about hours and hours. Um, so, Bibi, coming from Nepal, if somebody was to go visit Nepal and the area that you're from, or what would you say would be the one thing that they should go see if they're in Nepal? And also, what would be the one food that you would recommend for everybody to try. Is anybody else in your state or your, uh, uh, in the state that you live is in the U.S. or if you're in uh, Jamaica, some of the different islands, what would you recommend somebody to see? What would be the main attraction you would want to say that they can't miss to see and what food would you say is the best food that they can't miss? Let me know what it is. Yeah, Miss Brown, I'm always talking about one thing or another. Me personally, if you were going to be, if I was still living in New York, I would say pizza, New York pizza. Had to have me, or a knish. It's like, uh, can't, can't beat that. Um, or if you wanted something on the sweet side, I would say that it would be a Junior's Cheesecake. Best cheesecake in the world. <laughs> Here in Texas, I would say, yes, you got to do barbecue. And mostly you got to do brisket. Uh, I would say the one place to go visit here would be uh, the Riverwalk. Everybody loves the Riverwalk, so... Are you like uh, pizza, Chris? New York has the best pizza, hands down. Ooh, and Guyana, uh, ooh, it's Ghana, right? Pepper pot is the food to try, ooh. So Charlene, what is pepper pot? What's in that? Cause that sounds really good. It sounds hot. It's Ghana, not Guyana. Guyana is a different country. <laughs> Ooh, Vivek, what's Momo's? You got to tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> I know my niece watched, we watched, uh, Ooh, it's different meats cooked together. Ooh. Oh, it's big at Christmas time? Ooh, if I ever go down there, I have to try that. <laughs> now, Charlene, what would you say would be the one site or the one place that if I only had one day to be there, 
what would you say would be the one spot, the one place that I could not miss there? Like here, if anybody was going to come here, I mean, we have in San Antonio, we have the Alamo, Alamo um, we have all that, but I would say the River Walk would be some place you would have to go to. Ms. Brown, what would you say would be the clue that I, if, if somebody was going, um, coming to visit, that would be the food that you would say that they cannot miss? And what would be the one place if they were going to go, where would they go to? Oh, I have to search it. <laughs> All right, let me see. <laughs> but Bibi, where would you say, where would be the one place that a person should go visit if they were in a park? Like, what is it like a cultural place for them to go visit? Is it near water? Is it up in the mountains? Is it, you know, a museum that they should see if they were going to go um, to Nepal? Where would you say? The Kaitir waterfalls. Ooh. It's hard to say. See, it is very hard to say. But if somebody told you, hey, you, you couldn't miss, you had to have this one dish um, and this one area for you to go visit, you know, that represents you know, where you're kind of like from, like here. And I mean, if I had to say, all right, the Alamo represents San Antonio or Texas in a way. Um, I would say, but a place where you would have fun, you get to relax and chill would be at the river wall. But the food would be barbecue and it'd be like brisket. We're all heritage sites. It's like I remember when I was uh, going from Cayman to India. Uh, we had, I think, about nine hours of delay in the UK, and I could have left the uh, left and gone out and gone visiting for like six hours, you know, or even five hours. I could have gotten something done, and people were telling me, "Oh, we'll do the double decker bus." You know, you get to see a whole bunch of different places, you know, <laughs> you'll have fun. Um, and, you know, I didn't do it because my ex-husband was stuck at the airport. He could, he didn't have a, uh, he had a transfer visa. He didn't have another visa. So, hey, Corinne, how are you? All right, Corinne, I'm asking everybody, what would you say that if there's, if, if somebody was to go over to Canada, either near you or anywhere in Canada, what would be the main food, the one dish that you would say that they would have to try while they were in Canada? And what would be the one place that you would say that they had to go ahead and visit? It either could be in Nova Scotia or it could be in other parts. So we're trying to, we're trying to play this. Like me, for if I told anybody to go to uh, New York, I would say that you, you only had a few hours to be there. Hey, Tyrone, you only had a few hours to be there. New York pizza. And I would say to go visit, New York has so many great places. I would say we have a double-decker bus in New York, too, and it brings you all the way from downtown to uh, uptown, and then you get to see a whole bunch of places. Have a good feed of seafood and visit Peggy's Cove. All right, see? And uh, so Chris is saying in Colorado, I would tell you to climb a 14 year. The view from a summit is pretty amazing. All right. And Chris, what kind of food would you say that if somebody was in Colorado, they can't miss? Like there's something that, you know, famous in Colorado. 
that, you know, you had to go ahead and have. Oh, you like it better than Nova Scotia, huh? See, look at that. Well, the Dunes River, oh yeah, Dunes River Falls in Jamaica. Yeah, the Jerk, Jerk and Festival. I love festival. Oh, curry goat. You know, that's the, the, the that's how I learned how to eat a uh, goat is by more of a Jamaican curry goat. Every uh, curry goat is different. Oh, Niagara Falls in Canada and the U.S.? So there's an amazing restaurant called Venice that my wife and I go once a year and they have some amazing stuff. All right. So there's nothing like specifically to Colorado that you can't get anywhere else. Like you got some places that have coffee, uh, some places like New York has their, you know, even Chicago, Chicago deep dish pizzas, you know, ain't nothing like New York pizza, but also they have, you know, their, um, what is it? Oh, the, the steak sandwich that they have in Chicago too. Um, was that in Philadelphia? Can't remember. But, you know, certain places have, you know, really good food. Here in San Antonio, it's like a hodgepodge. You have good Tex-Mex uh, uh, food, but then you also have barbecue. And I think barbecue, I would say brisket would be the one thing I would say to get here in San, San Antonio. Oh, green chili is pretty popular, a Colorado thing. All right. Oh, Palisade Pizzas. That sounds good. I just think it's very interesting. See, so now everybody knows that if you go somewhere else, these are the kind of things to try. I know, Charlene, is it that? Like, I, I would love to travel more, and my son is getting older now, but I've been meeting so many different people from different parts of the world that is, it is a great way to kind of like meet everybody and kind of like learn different things. Like if somebody went to Grand Cayman, I would say, oh, the food in Grand Cayman, see, that's kind of hard. Hey, Kenneth, what would you say be from your town um, or the state that you live in, what would be the food that somebody would have to go ahead and get if you were to recommend and what would be the one place that you would say that if they were there, they had to go visit? What did you say? Uh, Corinne says, we have some smokehouses here uh, and some bars. And I tried brisket first time last month. Like, yeah, the brisket is really, really good out here. Really good. If you got to try brisket, yeah, uh, if you're going to be in San Antonio, you got to try the, try the brisket. And I would say, depending, if you want to be cultural, uh, then you go to the Alamo. If you want to go ahead and go and have a good time, then I would say you would need to go ahead and do the river walk. Hello, let's do it. Maria, how are you? Thank you for coming in. We are asking everybody um, that, you know, everybody's from different parts of the world, uh, even different states here in the U.S. So... From where you're at, what would you say would be, if somebody was to say, hey, I'm going over to your town, I'm only going to be there, or your country, I'm only going to be there for a couple of hours. What would you say is the, the, the food, the dish that this person has to try? That if they're there, they have to try this dish. And what would you say would be the one place that they had to go visit? It could be somewhere cultural or someplace to have fun. Or you could give an example of both, both places. So. I just think, like I said, you never know where you end up going. I know me going over to Africa is going to be, um, not like, unless I win a trip. I can win a trip tomorrow. You never know. 
somebody might say, hey, we're going to give you tickets to go over the Africa. I might be down there. Don't know where I'll be. I might win tickets to go to Nepal. I might wind up getting kidnapped and going to Canada. Who knows? <laughs> you never know. You don't know anything. <laughs> that was a bad example, you guys. Sorry. You know, um, Chris, they say, um, I don't know about France. And again, that's hearsay. So I can't go ahead and, and judge it. So Kenneth says, pals drive through. I've heard of pals. Um, I, I can't say because I don't know if I would want to go to France. Um, there are the places in Europe that I like to go see better. But Iceland does sound amazing. They also say Alaskan cruise, that if you're going to do a cruise, an Alaskan cruise is one of the great, I mean, it's just beautiful, they say. And yes, Ms. Brown, nothing beats jerk chicken, I'm telling you. Um, like I said, um, I love, I learned to eat goat through uh, Jamaican goat curry which is different. Everybody does something different. Some people put coconut in it. Some people do the goat coat bigger. Some have more bones. Some have less bones. It just depends. And it's just like, yeah. I got adventurous when I was in Cayman, so. Pals hot dogs and chili dogs are the bomb. Ooh. I do love chili dogs. I love hot dogs. Oh, congratulations, Charlene. Yes, that, that, that first hundred is the hardest. The hardest. Oh, see, Corinne, I was, I was, I was on one cruise, um, and I did that a long time ago, and I had so much fun. Yes, Tyrone, we got some great channels here. Oh, yeah. But see, um, um, uh, Chris, the difference is, is that you have Tex-Mex food, and then you have Mexican food. And if you go to Mexico, uh, a lot of people from Mexico itself um, say that the food, the Tex-Mex food is nothing compared, totally different. And I think it's the same thing. Um, I, we got, we had a Jamaican place that opened up over here in San Antonio, of all places. I went there. It just wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. Uh, I don't even know if they were really from Jamaica. It's the spices. I don't know. Hey, Maggie G, how are you? And she says, I would say it's San Antonio uh, McNay Art Museum. And for fun uh, at the Pearl Brewery, yes. And for the food, I would say need to try Mamacitas. The guacamole avocado dip. I love it. Oh yeah, Mama C this is really good. <laughs> Hi Scratching Pete TA, thank you for coming in. There's some wonderful places in Mexico. There's a lot of beautiful places in Jamaica, you guys. I love uh, Grand Cayman, when I lived in Grand Cayman, Grand Cayman was so flat. Beautiful water, but it was so flat. Uh, when I went over near to Jamaica, Jamaica is such a mix of the mountains and everything. I just loved it there. It also reminded me of like Puerto Rico. I've been to Puerto Rico. Um, and so nothing as flat as Cayman. Yes, thank you everybody for hitting the thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. So Pete, we are asking everybody, if somebody said was to say that I'm coming to go near your town or your neck of the woods, 
and I only had a few hours. What is the one dish you would tell them that they had to try that represented, you know, ooh, they had to try where they were there? And what would be the one place that you would tell them that they had to go visit? Uh, either it's a cultural place or a fun place. What would you say to somebody? Let's say if I told you, hey, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be flying in. I'm there for four hours on a flying night. Out. Where would you want me to be? No problem. No problem, Corinne. If I was to say when I was in Cayman, um, I would say you would have to go to uh, Stingray Island, and I would say that you would have to, oh, it's so hard. Cayman was a hodgepodge of um, food. Um, you had a lot of Jamaican food. You had a lot of British food. Um, and then you had your Americans for all the tourists. So it was kind of like hard to pin, pinpoint, but gosh. I would say it would be the, the jerk pork that I got from there in festival. Yeah, I was in Mexico for my, uh, my uh, cruise. And we went over there, but at the time I was pregnant, so I was kind of like limited a little way, because you know when you're on the cruise ship, everybody comes up to you like, hey, look at the signature drink, bye bye bye, here try this, and it's like, dude, I'm pregnant, I can't drink. <laughs> and then they restricted when you were pregnant some of the activities that you could do. So, but I still had amazing time. So. And Mexico has a lot of nice places. It's a, a little, you know, again, hearsay. Can't say. Haven't been there. But you have a lot of, I have a lot of uh, coworkers and stuff that go, they have family in Mexico. We're close to the border. They go, they come back. And it can be a little, um, uh, depending on where you're going to in Mexico, it can be a little dangerous. Um, but again, every country, every city, every state has, you know, their good spots and their bad spots. Yeah, Chris, it's like, I've never been like a major drinker, so... You were too good at it. Now, yeah, I'm not a major drinker, but it was just like, it was so frustrating because they will all come up to me. They were like, yeah, and they have these beautiful bottles and this and that. And I'd be sitting there. I was like, dude, I'm pregnant. I can't drink. So. It was a lot of fun. I would say, um. Being pregnant, it was a little bit harder for me because it, ships are huge. I mean, they're just huge. So it's a lot of walking. It's a lot of going back and forth. It is a lot of fun. I mean, we went to play at the bingo. And they had bingo one night. And we won $700 on a bingo. And it was a free. They had uh, comedy uh, comedy uh, sketches. Um uh, they, but they would have one that they had earlier in the day for uh, the family. And then at nighttime, they also had the comedians come out. And that's when they were just the adults only kind of, you know, joking around and stuff. Um, they had um, dancing. They had the um, uh, gambling. They had the slots and stuff like that. They had, I think on one night, it was the um the captain's dinner um you had a choice of picking um if you sat with oh sorry if you sat with um uh singles or couples 
uh, when you had your, you know, your meals and you got to take place that you're going to have your meals. I mean, it, it was just amazing. It was like, yes, we did excursions. Um, but did you always have to do excursions? No, there was a lot of times if there was a port that you were going to go to, hey, JV Outdoors, thank you for coming in. If you had a port uh, that um, they docked to you and you could come in and out, you could have gone. Uh, some people said, oh, well, you know, people that do a lot of cruises, they said, oh, well, go down, have fun, come back eat on the ship and go back out and then you saved money there and stuff and you took advantage of, you know, all the meals on the, on the ship. So it's just like, I mean, it's just fun. And there's some beautiful places to go visit. My ex, uh, my, my brother-in-law uh, and his wife met on the ships and he did the Queen Mary and he's been around the world or they've been around the world, I think twice. Uh, and they've been to everywhere. Um, I would tell anybody, hey, if you wanted to try something, you didn't have, um, you know, any obligations like family and stuff like that. Go, you know, before you figure out what you're going to do, go do a, a tour on on one of the ships. You get to see different places. You get to meet so many different people. Um, such a great experience. So it's like I knew a lot of ship people because being on Cayman Islands, a lot of the people that went to Cayman that worked in the stores and stuff, the jewelry stores and stuff like that, like my ex-husband did, they came from being on the ship. Um, and they, because they went to different ports and stuff, they kind of like figured, found, you know, places that they wanted to try out. So it's just like amazing cruise ships. My med. <laughs> I definitely would, uh, I would love to travel more. I think my son now at the age, he's at nine, and I've been talking to him because uh, I think it was Joy that had on, uh, they were doing uh, uh, Dollywood. And I was thinking, I told my son, well, we'll look at different places and we'll plan on doing something. Um, I know, JV Outdoors. I had taken medicine earlier. Well, so it's now kicking in now. <laughs> um, I told him, like, let's go find a place that, you know, we kind of, like, want to go visit next year. Because by next summer, you know, I'd really like to start bringing him to travel somewhere else. And, you know, I don't think I want to go as far as, like, New York and stuff with him. This, I, I want him to go on a plane. He's never been on a plane, except for when he was, like, two months old. So, but that doesn't count. Um, but I wanted us to go somewhere where he'll have a lot of fun. So, and then, you know, eventually, you know, get to the point that I would love to go ahead. I, like I said, I want to go to Greece and Italy. And they do have the bus tours, uh, the bus vacations that you go on the bus, you go from one place to another. You stay at different hotels. You could pick like a budget hotel versus a more expensive hotel, but you're in a group of people. I would love to do that. Um, more for the fact that, oh, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> more for the fact that I'm a single mom with a kid, you know, and they do have, you know, in Europe, those boards and stuff. So I think it's not Barilla. Barilla is the, 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 the pasta, I think, but I forgot the name of Perillo with a P, uh, and they do uh, tours like that, and I would say, hey, I would love to go ahead and do that. You're with a whole group of people, you know, so you have more safety, um, and then you get to go ahead and see a bunch of places. Want me to get you a coffee? Yes, definitely. Get me a coffee and bring me some over here. <laughs> I might call my son in a second and tell him to get me some soda. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would love to go ahead and do that and start my son off, you know, first going, you know, somewhere close, you know, Tennessee from New York, uh, from San Antonio is not that, that far. I uh, love to go to uh, Dollywood, 
you know, and then, you know, spread out a little further, you know, maybe try to go somewhere in the Caribbean with him. Um, Cause that would be like the next step, you know, or go somewhere in Canada, you know, but the flight isn't as long, but it's longer, you know, get him to the point that I could get him over, you know, over to, you know, Europe, you know, and do, do a tour in Italy or go to Greece. I mean, I would love to go to the island, uh, the Greek island. I mean, it just looks beautiful there. Uh, I had originally had wanted, before I had met my husband, uh, had kids and stuff, I wanted to go from here, I wanted to go backpacking in Europe. And I wanted to go down in from the UK, bypass France, uh, go down to Spain, and then go up over to Italy, go down to uh, the Greek islands, go back up to the border where it's Switzerland, and then head on over like where Germany and stuff is at. So. Yes, Corinne, I'm dying to go see you. I think we would have so much fun. But I think I want to go there without my son when I first meet you. Because <laughs> I think we would just have too much fun. <laughs> That or make sure you know a babysitter who will watch watch him. <laughs> I know Pete is out there, Kevin is out there, Two Chat and stuff. So I think that would just be a great time to meet around there. Yeah. So unless you know a babysitter, then the kid ain't coming. <laughs> I think if I go, I'm just going to go ahead and go and enjoy myself. <laughs> I can see us being up for hours and just talking and talking and talking. So <laughs> my son will be sitting there starving. He'll be looking at me. Can you guys stop? <laughs> stop talking. I want some food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I, and he, the good thing is that he's getting better right now and not better, but he's getting older that, um, there'll be a point that I might be able to go ahead and get away for, you know, like a weekend and stuff. So, well, Chris, the only thing is, is I remember I'm 50. So I had my son very late. So my parents are much, much older. They're in their late 70s going to 80. So it's a little hard for them to go ahead and watch them. My sister who is here, she lives with me, but she, um, she works retail. So her days and stuff is just very kind of like hard. Uh, and her days, because she's on her feet and selling and she's a, like a million dollar seller, you know, it's hard for her to, you know, watch him too um but he is getting older uh and his dad lives in um uh, st thomas on an island in the caribbean so he's not watching him <laughs> so um but he's getting to the point that he's getting a little bit older that you know at one point i'll start being able to go ahead and do like a long weekend somewhere you know and then have you know between my sister and my parents share that duty so, but he's not going to need that constant, you know, care. He's going to be more independent. Yeah, see, uh, my parents were, um, they'll watch him if he is, you know, there's something, you know, major that happens. They'll go ahead and watch him. Um, but, you know, but he's, he's nine now, so it's a little bit more easier for them to to uh watch him and take care of him versus before that it was a constant you know watching and changing and this and that and it was just it was just too much so but he's my miracle so i won't complain about that but like i said as he gets older well there will be able to get more adventure and also it would make me feel more comfortable i would love to take him on a cruise you know, but when he was younger, I would have been scared to bring him on a cruise where, you know, they had the kids corner or something and 
and leave him there and he wouldn't be able to tell me what the heck happened. I mean, my son is old enough that if somebody goes after him or tries to touch him or anything like that, he'll be like, hey, hey, dude, get away from me, my mom, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. So I, I feel more comfortable going ahead and and doing more adventures with him and traveling and stuff. But again, since he's not really traveled, um, I need to get him kind of like into it. And I think he would love it. My son is very uh, outgoing and friendly. He loves to make friends and stuff. So, you know, he's really good when we go out. He, I, I, I tell everybody I was very blessed. And not that I'm his mother, and I'm saying this, but I'm very blessed that he's very, very good. Um, he, um, he is good when we go out. He's not, you know, screaming, yelling, doing this, doing that. So I'm, I'm, I was very lucky. So, but like I said, I think I want to go just a little further out, which will probably be like, uh, go to Dollywood, uh, see how he handles that. But I want to bring him on the plane. I want to do a short plane ride. So this way, if he freaks out, then I only have to deal with it for a little bit of time. <laughs> I know this sounds bad, but, you know, I, I don't think you know what your kids will do. It's like my niece, first time we took her on an elevator, oh, my gosh, you, seen, you thought that somebody was killing her. You know, I wouldn't imagine her on a plane, you know, and some kids will react really bad on a plane. And, you know, you don't want to be stuck on a nine-hour flight with this kid who's miserable and you're stuck in a plane, you can't do nothing about it. So <laughs> I'd rather go ahead and do like a short trip where it's like an hour and a half, two hour kind of ride, you know, and it won't be so bad to deal with. So, so I think that's what my plan is. Um, and then we'll go further out and further out, you know, and be more adventurous and stuff. Whenever I see a deal on, you know, you know, little mini weekend get getaways and they have a deal or a special and it, you can't beat it. And it's like, hey, it's not too far. Let me go ahead and try that. So, and then eventually we'll, we'll get over to Italy and, you know, Greece. I love to bring him over to India uh, because he is half Indian and half Puerto Rican, half Chinese. So he's just a mutt, as we call, call ourselves. So... And so I would love to bring him over to India for him to see where his dad was from, you know, the other half of his culture. You know, I'd love to bring him to Puerto Rico, you know, he could see Puerto Rico is so easy to go to, so. <laughs> you freak out on planes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I would say my first time on a plane, we went from New York to Oregon, um, and that's quite a long distance from one coast to the other coast. And I remember my sister, she was on planes and I never was. She had me sit next to the window and as we we're waiting, you know, down still on the runway, not even, you know, pulled out and stuff. She's like, oh, look at that. This guy looks like a lot of rust on the wing. Oh, is that a bulk sticking out? Is this over here? She scared the living daylights out of me. The whole time I kept on looking at the wing. And oh my gosh, it's bouncing, it's moving, it's going to fall apart. Yeah, that wasn't a good experience. I'm hoping to have my son have a better experience than I did. <laughs> no, I had loved going to different places and seeing different places, so... I used to, when I first got here from New York to Texas, when I first got here, I was a research coordinator. And we, whenever there used to be a new research study that we used to do, uh, we used to, they used to have a, um, a startup. And so you would go over there, visit other places. They would talk about the, the, the requirements of the uh, study, the papers, this, all that. But you also had fun. So... When I was here in San Antonio, I went to California a few times, to Florida, to Philly, to New York, to Arizona. Um, I've been to a couple of different places, uh, just traveling back and forth from uh, all the meetings that I had. 
I remember one meeting I had, I went from here, the central, to California. From California, I came back here for like a day or two. I went to Philadelphia. I came back over here again, and then I went back to New York, and then I, you know, stayed and hung out with my friends. So it was just like back-to-back -back meetings. So it was, it was cool. It was fun. So, so I don't mind uh, traveling now versus my first trip with my sister. She had a living heck out of me. And when I was younger, me and my sister used to go ahead and go to Oregon uh, at, at one point, And then we also went to Puerto Rico. So we had family in both areas. So we made one trip to Oregon, one trip to Puerto Rico. And so we kind of like flew back and forth between the two places when we were younger. And then, like I said, as I got older, I flew around just from being a research coordinator. And then my husband, my ex-husband loves to travel. So we went to India, we went to uh, Ireland, uh, we went to Jamaica, um, we lived in the Caribbean, <laughs> we went on a cruise. So, hey, FEMA Breaker, FEMA Breaker, how are you? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Oh, Chris, you've been all right, fine. Yeah, you know, I, I've enjoyed flying back and forth. Like I said, I like to go back to Cayman. I brought my son when he was two months old. We went to Cayman Island. And then I went ahead and um, like to go back to Jamaica. I like to go back to the Caribbean. The water is beautiful. I mean, Cayman Island, it, the water is just beautiful. But be careful if you go to Jamaica, because the water is so beautiful, but the sun is so darn strong there. I went from, you know, and it, it, put it this way, came into Jamaica, it was like we got up in the air, they served us a drink, they said, okay, we're going to start landing, and they took the drink away. It was that fast. So, um, but the sun in Jamaica compared to Cayman, Oh my goodness, I got so burnt in it when I was in Jamaica. But Jamaica is very pretty too. They got the mountains, the water, they have, you know, where Cayman was just so flat. But it's like, you know, if you're not a big, you know, plane person, you know, just pick a place that you kind of like definitely want to go. I mean, I think, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I just find that a lot of, and I'm American, so don't take it wrong. Um, we tend, because we have so many different um, cities and, you know, East Coast, West Coast, you know, Central. I mean, we, we have different vibes and all over the place here. We tend to stay here in the U.S. more. Um, I know a lot of people who don't even have their passports. And I know some people here in Texas who have never been out of Texas. Um, so not that it's a bad thing. Uh, but, you know, I think a lot of Europeans, they travel a lot more than we do. Um, they go, you know, all over Europe. And I know a lot of people from the UK, they go to Africa, they go to Egypt. I mean, they go everywhere. But also in Europe, I believe, and if anybody's here from anywhere in Europe, they have more uh, vacation time than we do. We tend to only have a, a week or two weeks here, maybe the most in the U.S., uh, unless, you know, you cure a lot of time. But uh, in Europe, they have, I think, about four weeks of vacation. And I think that's also why when I lived in Cayman, we were able to go to India for a month because we had all that vacation time. Versus here, we don't. And Cayman Islands is a British colony. So we used to celebrate the Queen's birthday, Boxing Day. Um, we had, you know, 
uh, Thanksgiving, but it, Thanksgiving was more, it wasn't a national holiday, is more something for the tourists. Yeah. But you guys, I'm probably going to go ahead and head out right now. I thank everybody for coming. I talked my head off, you guys. <laughs> um, I, I will probably go ahead and do another live tomorrow. That live, though, is going to be, you know, I start my lives from one subject, and I turn around, and it's about 10,000 different other subjects. Uh, it's probably going to just be doing a palette or something like that, and then chit-chatting and talking. Uh, I will go ahead, uh, Corinne, if you're still here, I'll probably get back, uh, get together with you, see if you want to come up and um, chit-chat, you know, show some of the new products and stuff that you are, uh, I know we could talk forever, uh, some of the new pro uh, projects that you are working on, and if you want to go ahead and, you know, show them and stuff like that and show everybody, you know, all the the new things that you've been doing. So so let me know, uh, DM me, let me know what time will be good for you. Because I'll do the live anytime, you know, and then this way uh, you come up, chit chat. I know we won't make it an eight hour live. <laughs> we will uh, do it to like an hour, you know, hour and a half and kind of like uh uh, not make it like uh, <laughs> like I'm rambling right now. Oh, cool. So yeah, Corinne, uh, DM me on Instagram. Let me know what time will work for you tomorrow. If you want to go ahead and do that tomorrow and then this way um, just chit chat, shoot the breeze, talk like we're talking now, show off some of your new stuff so this way everybody can see the things that you're working on. And then, like I said, if you go ahead and, uh, I know you were saying you're going to do a little bit more um, lives and stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, go on yours. I know, the last life. Charlene, you know, I just saw this video on this guy, one of a very famous Rasta, uh, and uh, the food and everything. I was just so amazed by it. I know that I said, if I go down to Jamaica, that's what I like to do is to go to really a, a Rasta uh, restaurant where it's more all natural and it's just like it's like a chill, nice time. So I definitely want to go ahead and do that. But it's about to be tea time. <laughs> but no, thank you everybody for stopping by. Uh, again, like I said, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You love that culture for years. Yeah, I just think it's amazing. Everybody has a certain view about Rasta. Um, you know, um, it, it's a different um, way of life. It, it's not just, you know, what everybody sees. You know, I was just so amazed. And I, I saw this documentary on it, and I was just, like, so amazed. I said, I if I go down again... I definitely want to go to, and it's a very famous uh, Rasta um, restaurant, and they're supposed to make such amazing food, all natural herbs. They explain what everything does for your body. Um, I just, I, it's just amazing. <laughs> oh, your sister's husband is moving up from Toronto. Oh, up to Toronto from St. Vincent. Oh, cool. And yeah, you don't miss out. Definitely. I mean, it's just amazing. They were just, they were just cutting stuff and picking things up, and they were mixing and grinding everything, and it, it just looked so awesome. It was so healthy. Everybody said when they, they left, they, they felt relaxed at ease. That just, you know, it was just, it's so soul filling, you know what I mean? I'm like, I that's where I'm gonna go. It's like I will make it down there one day. But you guys, let me get off of here. I'm keeping everybody on here. They keep on going, saying, going, saying, going, saying. I hope everybody has a wonderful 
a fabulous night. Um, everybody stay safe out there. Again, like I said, I'm going to go do another live tomorrow, which is Sunday. I just don't know what the time is, so make sure you hit that notification bell, that, that little ringy ding ding, so you know whenever I'm going to uh, upload. And uh, Corinne, I will DM you to see if you want to come up and find a time that works for us. I hope. Oh, hi, Sip Fresh Entertainment. How are you? Thank you for coming in. And we have Griswold Family Vacay, who is live right now. So if everybody wants to go ahead and go over there to go ahead and do uh, raid them. Uh, Ken is my, he's one of my mods. He is so great. Um, he, um, you know, so many different people and some really cool people. So very relaxed people. So if we want to go ahead and go raid Griswold Family Vacay, we can go over there. Uh, Kenneth just dropped uh, drop the link for everybody. Uh, so I am heading off, you guys. Uh, have a wonderful, fabulous day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Bye, everyone. <laughs>